Adam and he slept. He took one of the ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. It's been said that woman was not taken from the head of man that she might rule over him, nor from man's foot that she might be his servant. But God took woman from man's side that she might be his equal companion, from under his arm that he might protect her, and from next to his heart that he should love her. Alex and, Cla- and, and Carla, as you stand here in the presence of the living God, who knows all the secrets of the heart, I trust you have both fully considered the covenant you're about to make. The word of God promises that when you keep your vows to each other and you do your best to make Christ the center of your home, that God will bless your marriage and establish your home in peace. If you, Alex, and you, Carla, have freely and deliberately chosen each other as partners for life, would you please join right hands? Alex, would you repeat after me? I choose you to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse, for, better or worse. For, richer or poor, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, in and in health. To, love and to, cherish, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. Alex, it will be your responsibility as Carla's husband to provide for her, to protect her from harm, to lead her in God's will, and to build her up in faith. God's word commands that husbands love their wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. Alex, what gift do you give Carla as a symbol of your love and a reminder of the promises made today? Amen. Carla, would you repeat after me? Alex, I choose you to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse. For richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. Carla, it'll be your responsibility as Alex's wife to care for him, to comfort him, to stand beside him, and to help him in his service to the Lord. God's word commands that wives be in submission to their husbands, even as the church is subject to Christ's loving leadership. Carla, what gift do you give Alex as a symbol of your love? The ring is a symbol of eternity and completeness. It is made of precious metals, the type which are least tarnished and most enduring. And may your love and trust be pure and endure till death do you part. And may the Lord bless the giving of these rings and the love that they symbolize. May Jesus Christ be the center of your lives together. May his Holy Spirit fill you with the power that you'll need to follow him and allow your marriage and your love to grow more and more. Alex and Carla, as you have pledged your love and your life and your faith to one another, I now pronounce you husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Alex, you may kiss your bride. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the privilege of introducing you to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Montiel. Amen. <laughs> I want to thank the family for being here, and you guys are welcome to come up and congratulate them on this awesome ceremony today.